Hello. Hi, everyone. How are you, precious people of God? It is Lakedra. I have come on here to build your faith, encourage you, and bring to you some powerful tips, some powerful strategies to keep your mind stayed up on the Lord and keep out all fear and worry. That way you'll see that promise come to pass. Hallelujah. And so I want to thank every one of you all for joining me and all your prayers and your support in the work of God. May the Lord continue blessing you and prospering you and keeping your mind at peace and blessing you in every area of your life as you wait for that breakthrough to come forth in your marriage and salvation in your home and your life and seeing that spouse come out. Hallelujah. As God has promised you. And so I want to jump right into the word of God with you all, people of God, so that you will be blessed and strong on today. You know, you want to fill your mind up with good things by saying what is good. Hallelujah. When there is worry, fear, anxiety, when there is discouragement, it causes you to become weak in the spirit. It causes you to be weak in your spirit, man. As a man thinks in his own heart, so is he. So who, but whose mind is stayed up on thee, thou would keep him in perfect peace. You have that strength. Hallelujah. And so to get rid of the worry, pray about the situation. That's what Philippians 4, 6 reminds us to do. Remember, I want to go back to it. Paul says, don't worry about anything. Okay, what, do, what to do about it, Paul? He says, instead, pray about everything. You see, prayer, prayer is what will stop worry. It will stop the worry. Prayer is very powerful. It gets the problem and the situation and the burden and the yoke off of you. That is where you have cast it upon the Lord. So it causes you to walk in freedom and liberty. So the number one thing to do when worrying tries to come set in, you begin to pray. Take the situation to the Lord. Give it to him, casting all your cares and worries upon the Lord who cares for you. So that's the number one thing to defeat any type of anxiety, depression, worry, and fear. Pray about it. So he says, pray about everything. Tell God what you need. You see, this is how you're releasing it off of you and into the hands of God. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Hallelujah then you will experience God's peace, his shalom peace, the shalom peace, the rest, hallelujah, the quietness, praise the Lord, strength, hallelujah, the sense of power, praise the Lord. But then he goes on and says, which exceeds anything we can understand, his peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. But remember, this peace does not come until after you have prayed and given it to the Lord. For example, if there has been a divorce or you are seeing many things come your way. You go to the Lord concerning his word. Hallelujah. Because remember, it is his word. It is God's will that is being violated or transgressed against. And so you go to the Lord concerning that situation. You go to the Lord and you begin to pray, Lord God, I give this situation to you, this divorce to you, for you hate divorce. I give it to you, Lord God. This is not your will. I give it to you. Or whatever else is going on. Separation. Lord, you hate putting away what you have joined together. You said, let no man separate. I give it to you, Lord God. I give the heart of my wife or my husband to you, Lord God. I'm seeking you for their salvation. For you said, Lord God, in your word, 
that you wish that no man would perish but have everlasting life. You want all men to come to the knowledge of truth. I give this to you, Lord God. I take it off of me and I cast it upon you for you cares for me. You cares for my spouse. You want my spouse saved. You want our marriage to prosper and illustrate Christ, the life of Christ. You want my spouse to love me as Christ loved the church. And, or you want my wife to respect me as the church respects and honors and reverence Christ Jesus. You want us to be submitted to one another as we honor you and reverence your name. You see, you at that point is releasing it over to the Lord or whatever else has come your way. You find the word of God. Get in the word of God. Call out to him. Remind him of what his word has said about that situation. This will be you going before the judge. This will be you going before the courts of heaven, making your request known unto the Lord God Almighty. Seeing him as sovereign. Seeing him as the head. Hallelujah. Seeing him as your provider. Taking that load off of you, laying aside all weights, heavy weights, laying them aside so these things won't be set you or hold you back and cause your mind to be filled with fear and doubt and unbelief and have you distressed and full of weariness where you can't stand, hallelujah, and be strong. And so the first thing you want to do is begin to pray. Give it to the Lord. Tell him what you need. Praise the Lord. And this is what will bring peace. And it will protect your mind and your heart. But one thing he says. And now dear brothers and sisters. In verse 8. One final thing. You fix your thoughts. On what is true. And honorable. And right. And pure. And lovely. And admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Keep putting into practice all you learned and received from me. Everything you heard from me and saw me doing. Then the God of peace will be with you. Or the God of prosperity will be with you. The God who will supply all of your need. This is, he's not only. The shalom peace for you. The God of shalom and peace. But he's also the God to prosper you. And provide whatever it is you are asking him for. Praise the Lord. Once you have prayed and given it over to him. You'll find that there is peace. But then you got to keep your thoughts right. You got to have the right thoughts. And this is what will cause God to show up on the scene. He will begin to provide for you the things you need. Hallelujah. And that peace will guard your heart and your mind. And this is how you will be able to wait patiently on the Lord. And he will renew your strength. So you, so you got to release it. So you won't be carrying that burden. And it cannot be released until you have prayed about it and given it over to God. Prayer is what... It's, it's a way for you to give whatever you are struggling with over to God. It releases you from that situation and that trouble. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Prayer and fixing your thoughts is how you can remain strong and continue walking with God. And watch him provide everything you need. But your thoughts, if we don't watch it, it could cause us. To be hindered from receiving the blessings. And so every day or throughout the day. When you find that those thoughts of doubt and unbelief and fear and worry is trying to come back. You begin to release it again over to the Lord. This is what you do precious people of God. This is what will keep you strong. This is what will keep that peace of God. Of rest. God in your heart and your mind. But then remember, you got to focus your thoughts on what God has said about your marriage. Who your spouse is. Hallelujah. Begin to go back to Ephesians. Remember, as the word of God tells us. As the scripture say, a man leaves his father and mother and is joined to his wife. 
and the two are united into one. This is a great mystery. So you think about that, precious people of God. You begin to say, I thank you, Lord God, that me and my spouse, we are one. Thank you for this great mystery, Lord. Thank you for what you have done. Hallelujah. What you have joined together, no man could separate. Thank you, Lord God. You see, you got to fill your mind up with what is good and true and of a lovely report. Hallelujah. And you'll find the God of prosperity will come through and begin to cause you. Hallelujah. To see that same promise, that same proverb, that same word and truth that you have spoken out of your mouth. He will give it to you. He will give you whatsoever you have spoken. The God of prosperity will be with you. Hallelujah. You have cast your cares upon him. Now he has given you peace and comfort. Hallelujah. To overcome that worry and that fear and that doubt and that unbelief. And now you're thanking him because he has strengthened you and he has given you these things that you've asked for. And then you focus your thoughts on what is true to come against whatever the enemy is attacking your mind with or whatever you have been seeing or have or have heard you begin to fix your thoughts fix your thoughts on what is true look into the word of god seeing what god has said just like what ephesians chapter 5 verse 31 has spoken this is what's true this is what's good and of a lovely report as the scriptures say a man leaves his father and mother and is joined to his wife and the two are united into one this is a great mystery but it is an illustration of the way christ and the church are one it says so again i say each man must love his wife as he loves himself and the wife must respect her husband and so you begin to focus your thoughts on what god has said hallelujah you prayed about the situation you are seeing what God's word is saying must be done. You ask God to cause this to be what he placed in the heart and the mind of your spouse. If you are finding that husband is not loving you as his own body, precious woman of God, as the scriptures say, you begin to take that situation over to the Lord. Get it off of you. Stop worrying about how you're going to fix it. And instead, see God as being the one to fix it. Remember, he's the one to supply all of your needs. You're telling him what you need. Hallelujah. According to his word. And remember, he will hear you. He will hear those things that are according to his word. Because they are what pleases him. It is his will. For a man to love his wife as he loves himself. And the wife to respect her husband. So it's the same with you, man of God. You begin to go to the Lord concerning your wife being a woman of God who respect you as the church respects our Lord Jesus Christ out of reverence for his name's sake. And you begin to ask the Lord to give you that, that, that thing you're needing. Hallelujah. And the Lord God is the one to place, place, hallelujah, his will and his desires in their hearts. He will begin to cause those things to come into fruition as you ask him for it hallelujah now you begin to think about it keep your mind focused on what is coming to pass and thank god for what he has done thank god that you have got it off of you and now you have cast it upon him and he's the one hallelujah he's the one to supply that need and fight on your behalf hallelujah and comfort you and cause your way to prosper cause that marriage to prosper cause that situation hallelujah to be moved out of your life because he is the one to go before you because your trust was in him praise the lord and so this is what you must do every day or throughout the day this is what would keep you strong people of god this battle is not yours it's the lord's give it over to him and allow yourself to walk in that rest and you'll find that there is strength and you'll find that promise, hallelujah, that promise has come your way because you relied upon the Lord and your trust was in him. And now he can give you what you have asked. Those thoughts, those wicked thoughts, those things, that worrying, that fear has been put into subjection. 
It has been taken into captivity. And now your life can go and flow under the obedience of Christ Jesus. That spouse, the will of that spouse, hallelujah, God will begin to come in and give them the desires of his heart. Placing them his mind, his will, hallelujah, and put it on, his, on their hearts and minds. It is by his will and his power. He can cause them to do those things that is pleasing unto him and that is according to his word by your request being made unto him. This is how you will make your way prosperous and have great success and walk in victory every single day of your life. Hallelujah. It's by getting those thoughts under control and praying about everything. Hallelujah. And the God of peace will be with you and prosperity hallelujah and so now i'm going to pray thank you lord father god i thank you for everyone that has come on here thank you father god for giving us these things lord god thank you lord god for showing us how to be successful how to walk in peace how to receive those things that are in high places for us all these spiritual blessings that you have given us thank you for teaching us how to receive them by trusting in you thank you lord god and so father we just give you the praise for what is coming thank you that spouses are healed and delivered and set free marriages are restored again thank you lord god that spouses are coming home they are being reconciled to their loved ones thank you lord god their minds are being renewed you are causing them to walk in your ways you are causing them, Lord God, hallelujah, to do your holy will. And Lord God, we give you the praise, hallelujah. Thank you, Father God, and may there be peace. May there be peace, Lord God, to cover the hearts and the minds of the standards that have joined me on today. May they see your goodness. May they see, Lord God, what is coming their way. Thank you, Father God, that spouses are being delivered. The powers of darkness are loosen them now you're causing them to be free and do your holy will where husbands shall love their wives as they love their own bodies and wives being submissive unto their own husbands out of reverence for christ jesus thank you lord god that these marriages are an illustration of the way you and the church are one and we bless your holy name hallelujah and we thank you that the best hallelujah lord god is coming our way and we give you the praise for the manifestations of them now and all the people of god says amen amen and amen hallelujah receive it precious people of god hallelujah and hold on to it remember to keep those thoughts fixed on what is true and lovely and of a good report and the god of prosperity will be with you don't let your mind be troubled neither let it be afraid keep the worrying keep the worrying out keep the fear out by praying about everything and god loves you remember that and i love you too and until next time bye bye